Hello, how are you fine folks doing today? This is Trevor Shin of AppleNaps.com. You can see here this is the setup of uh, iOS 6. It's exactly the same as iOS 5, so we'll speed through it. And then jump into settings of iOS 6, specifically for the iPad. We talked about the iPhone, now we're on the iPad with some slight alterations. And of course some similarities beginning with Do Not Disturb, which lets you not be bothered by notifications for your set time. There's a little moon up in the status bar to show you. And then privacy settings are a great addition, allowing you to decide what apps access your contacts and other data. Then Bluetooth can be turned on or off with a single switch. It's right in the main panel rather than embedded down below. And now we'll jump over into the App Store. Like the iPhone version, the iPad App Store has been overhauled, but overhauled in a completely different way. As you can see here, when you pick on an app, you then have and highlighted icon right in the main screen as well as the little info description then you can side swipe to move between the apps and then you can view screenshots full screen which is a new addition as well and the entire app store it's really uh, about taking advantage of the bigger screen that you have there's the same uh, three panels included in the info pages but let's jump over to the top charts as you can see you get top paid top free and top grossing and they're all independently scrollable and then you have a bunch of apps listed on your iPad and then you can install apps without leaving the App Store so you don't have to jump in and out to install multiple apps at once. The purchase tab has been redone as well so now you can see a whole bunch of apps at once and I mean a whole bunch, almost pretty much every purchase app in one long list that you can just scroll through and it loads real quick in beta so that's always nice to see later on and then the main page you have the banners that are flippable and then search results are like purchased results and that you get a whole bunch at once you know there's not just set pages like in the old app store for the iPad so that's great and then there's new category listings right in the main page to make it easier to find and drill down through categories though so that genius functionality that we briefly showed it's not activated yet but later in betas I'm sure they're gonna do a lot with it then also you can open apps right within the app store we'll jump over to iBooks to show that iBooks and iTunes stores have been redesigned in the same way as the iPad App Store and uh, so it's just like the iPhone they have the black uh, theme but now you're just on a bigger scale now we'll switch gears to Surya as we duck out of the way so you can hear the back and forth and Surya has some new features you can see and of course it's on the new iPad itself how did the Kings do last night? The Kings pounded the Devils by a score of 6-1 to one yesterday. The Devils are out of the playoffs. Can you tell me all of the MLB scores from last night? Here are the scores from the MLB yesterday. You'll need to install the latest open table app before I can make reservations. What time is Prometheus showing at the AMC Santa Anita this morning? Checking for movies matching Prometheus at the AMC Santa Anita. Here's Prometheus at the AMC Santa Anita starting around 7 a.m. Remind me to check out more on iOS 6 today at 10 a.m. Here's your reminder for today at 10 a.m. Shall I create it? Yes. Okay, I'll remind you. Launch Facebook. Launch, where's my water? So as you can see, Surrey's on the iPad and it has all the same functionality existing as well as movies, sports, and restaurant enhancements as well as the ability to open apps. Now we'll switch to the next big feature in iOS 6 and that's the new Maps app which is Apple's own Maps and includes deluxe info cards and all new uh, design as well as the special 3D flyover map that we're going to jump into right here. You really notice it on the iPad with the bigger screen. We'll start at Dodger Stadium and then zoom all the way through to downtown. 
Hopefully you can see how authentic the 3D modeling looks. This isn't just some uh, computer-generated imagery, but actually declassified missile guidance systems. So it looks super authentic, and there's just so much detail packed into the buildings, including the Disney Concert Hall, which has its own unique architectural design. And you can see the varying you know, heights of the buildings in downtown. And then we'll go over to Staples Center and LA Convention Center just to see all the different designs that are included. Granted, this is a big city, but it's extended quite significantly in Apple's own map set that has guidance too. Show me directions to Staples Center. Getting directions to Staples Center. Now the iPad doesn't have turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation like the iPhone, but that may be because we're on a Wi-Fi iPad and perhaps the 4G models actually have it with GPS chip built in, we're not quite sure. Another new feature in iOS 6 is Facebook integration, which is uh, like the Twitter integration in iOS 5, but with Facebook. And it also it ties to the privacy settings where Facebook's going to be requesting, you know, use on a bunch of apps, and you can say yes or no each time. And extending the point, you can now uh, tap to tweet and tap to post to Facebook right within Notification Center, as you can see right here, and it makes it really quick to post status updates. To further the point, you can also tweet or post to Facebook from Surrey as well, as you can see right here. Tweet, going to be heading to the King's Parade tomorrow. Anyone coming? Question mark. Here's your tweet. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I sent it. There's some minor features in iOS 6, including shared photo streams, so you can pick a few photos to share with particular people, or you can make public links that you can then share on Facebook or Twitter, as you can see right here. FaceTime is now possible on uh, 4G iPads, but this is just a Wi-Fi iPad. In terms of uh, calling features, those are iPhone only since it's a phone part, and also Passbook is just for the iPhone. Now we'll drill down into some smaller but useful features in iOS 6, beginning with the VIP mailbox allowing you to add special people for a special mailbox as well as notifications and then in terms of mail messages you can now easily insert photos or videos with this single double tap and the contextual menu that pops up and that also is going to be extended into Safari as you can see right here you can now for instance in WordPress upload videos this was never possible and this extends to other sites including Flickr and eBay and stuff so you right how now have access to the camera roll from within Safari which is a nice new addition. Safari also has cloud tabs allowing you to view the tabs on your iPhone as well as OS X Mountain Line. You know you can switch between them and iPad goes back to iPhone etc. And then there's the new share window as you can see icons replace text links and that includes the social sharing features. Then there's a brand new clock app on the iPad with the world clock view which has some weather indicators as well as a light and dark display and then you can set up alarms based on songs stored in your music library which is a nice new addition which has only been on third-party apps before and then the alarm section itself gives a nice big display for the whole calendar view timer there's not much to be said and the same for your uh, stopwatch and that's clocks and then in terms of notifications Apple's refined this a bit so if you read a message over on your iPhone those notifications are gone off your iPad which is definitely nice. And then iTunes Match is now a streaming service rather than just only download, which was how it was in iOS 5. So now you can listen to songs without them being stored on your device. As you can see here, we'll listen to a couple songs, turn off iTunes Match, and then see how no songs are then stored in the iPod app. So that's pretty much everything for the iPad and iOS 6. Um, We've covered everything for iPhone and iPad. There's a few differences, a lot of similarities. Hope you enjoyed the video. 